Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a colour and chat. Quick disclaimer that the videos on this channel are for adults and are not made of all or intended for children. So just get that out of the way. Today we're just going to do a quick colouring in Chippy Girls Book 1 by April Amber using the Arteza Evelyn markers. And we're going to do this one which is I think like the Evil Queen from Snow White. So I've just got a, a peach here for her skin. Oh, she's a rather nasty girl. So, how are you? Are you okay? We're all good. Um, I'll have a little chat about things in a minute. Um, I want to say hello to all my new subscribers, those of you who've just joined me. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy your stay here with us. And for everybody else, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it and I'm, I'm glad you could you do want to come back and spend more time with me and um, yeah it's, it's good to have you here so let's uh, just colour her in so we've been fine it's been pretty quiet um, the weather's not been brilliant the last couple of days it rained all day Saturday um, you're seeing this on Sunday, so I'm filming this Saturday night. So, hopefully Sunday will be better. And if it is, we'll be going out. So, hopefully. Hopefully we'll be going out anyway, so. I just thought we'd come in and, you know, do a little bit of colouring. I didn't do a wrap up this week if you were waiting for that just simply because I've only watched one film haven't really listened to very much um, other than in the car and I haven't finished a book so I thought there's not a lot of point so you'll get an episode next week when hopefully I will have finished a book and I have watched some films so I watched the 1953 version of Titanic tonight which uh, starred Barbara Stanwyck or Stanwyck however you want to pronounce her name which I really enjoyed. But I'm not going to talk much about that because we'll do that later. Jennifer's fine, just being herself and she's sound asleep. Everybody's in bed. It's actually really late tonight. I'm filming this late, very late for me because we did a quiz this afternoon and then this evening rather. And then I wanted to watch a film, so I put on Titanic. I was really watching a bit of it, but I got quite into it, so I watched it all. Really enjoyed it. It always makes me think about how tragic that event was when I watch a film about it, whichever one you watch, whether it's 1953 one or A Night to Remember or Raise the Titanic or the 1997 James Cameron one. It just makes you think about how sad that was, how tragic the sinking was and all those people... The, the the 700 odd that lived and the 1500 that died it, it makes you wonder because you know that for the ones who survived the guilt survivor's guilt must have been intense and this would have been the defining moment of their life it would have been I mean as I can turn around and say the defining moment of my life really was when Jennifer was born it's it what's changed everything but for these people what changed everything was the sinking of this allegedly, supposedly, unsinkable ship. And it's, it's really tragic when you think about it. And, uh, you know, we, we're going through what we're going through now and that's horrendous. And the what they went through on that night, I can only, only imagine what it would have been like for them. Really, it must have been so terrifying. I'm just looking for all my colours. Oh, you know when you know what colour you want and you can't find it? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. 
right now. Oh, sniffly nose. I want to have that one as well. There we are. So yeah. But I do like watching things about things like Titanic and I like watching documentaries so I watch stuff about Titanic or I watch stuff about Jack the Ripper or another one that fascinates me is what happened to uh, Amelia Earhart um, you know what happened to her on that journey in 1937 you know did it did she crash into the ocean did she land on Nikamura and survive for a few days or a week you know what what happened I think unsolved mysteries, they're always fascinating, aren't they? Let's be honest. Um, and part of the thing is you don't want them to find out the truth, but you do and you don't. I mean, it's been so long now since she disappeared that if they could find the remnants of the plane, at least they'd have an idea of what happened to where she went down, if they were killed instantly or if they survived for a few days. I don't know what's worth crashing into the ocean and dying instantly. I think would probably be slightly better than living on an island, knowing that once you ran out of water you were going to die and maybe being um, unconscious and or, or dying of thirst but a, a vaguely aware of what was going on around you and the island has flesh-eating crabs on it to think that you were lying there helpless weak couldn't move and maybe injured and these crabs are pulling at your flesh oh the thought of it's horrendous but that might have been what happened we just don't know I mean I've looked I've watched programs about the potential of her being on Nicomarora um, with um, Fred Noonan. I, I don't I don't know. I, I think it's a possibility. The things they've found there point towards somebody being there. But who, I don't know. Because they, they did find some remains, some bones that were found in the at the the 1940s. Um, originally they were said to be that of a man and then it was reconfigured and said that of a woman but they at the same time as finding these bones they did find the remnants of a woman's shoe. I mean it, I suppose it's possible that they could have been Fred's bones, I, I just don't know. Then there was um, the other things they found like part of a sextant and um, a face cream a freckle remover or a freckle hider that Amelia was thought to have used that was there and that she possibly would have taken with her. It's hard to know. We don't know what she had with her in the plane when they flew off and she disappeared. Um, then there's the reports of them picking up the various people picking up distress calls from her at various times over the next days or so. Um, and they've measured the times down to when the tide was low, which is when they would have been able to start the engine and get the battery charged to send out messages. And this one woman who, or one, she was a girl at the time, heard this cry for help and somebody saying it was Amelia Earhart and that there was something there that sounded like New York City. And of course on Nicomarua there is a wreck of a, a ship called the Norwich City. Always makes me laugh because they pronounce it Nor Norwich, Nor Norwich, which of course is Norwich, um, is the correct pronunciation. But uh, so could it have been the wreck of that? You know, it, it, it's hard to say. It was so long ago now. Whether we'll ever find out. The only way we'll ever find out is if they ever do find the remains of the plane, which is difficult because if she did land there, and I'm not saying she did because I don't know. Um, where the reef is, it, it drops very suddenly to several hundred metres, if not more. 
is a very steep drop and if the plane got carried out that way it may never be found so and um robert ballard who actually found titanic went out there with the uh the team looking for it rick gillespie and his group of people that are called uh tiger and robert ballard couldn't find anywhere he was looking for it in certain places where they thought it might have been but he couldn't find anything so I mean, they didn't search the whole area, but I just find things like that fascinating. I always have. I guess the next one I'd probably look into would be Glenn Miller because obviously he disappeared as well. And I think that sort of thing is fascinating when there's no answer, when there's no final conclusion, when nothing's been found, like a body or a plane or things like that um i find it fascinating same as like with jack the ripper it's fascinating because he was never caught and nobody knows who he was so it, i mean there's that that story is again something completely different it's just a, a murder mystery and nobody knows who he was now today i would hope that with the amount of clues and evidence he left behind we would catch him but they just didn't have the techniques we have today and we can't always catch killers because they um they didn't have dna testing fingerprinting was in its infancy they, they had discovered that fingerprints were unique but they hadn't started using them in in crime fighting and stuff like that that was on its way in and in fact the first crime scene photos were only just starting to be taken then because photography was, was still in its infancy and of course they had to use big plate cameras and it would not have been easy for them to take pictures and in fact the only crime scene photos from the ripper ones are of Mary Kelly's room and her alleged body because there are some people that say that she, it wasn't her that was killed because the body was unrecognisable. Eek. Um, but yeah, so I, I think it's fascinating that... And that's why it's still interesting today. It's why people are still fascinated with these cases is because they were not solved. Cases that are solved are never as interested in interesting in a general public perspective as those that aren't. I mean, like Ted Bundy and Dharma and all that. They are fascinating, but only in a historical context in the fact that they were caught. Same with the Manson killings. That was truly horrific because of, of the Sharon Tate and her baby. And, but the way they killed them was horrific. But with the Ripper, because we didn't know who he is, we've got all these suspects and new ones keep coming out every year and it's just fascinating how many suspects. So they've, they've, they've suspected everybody from the Prince of Wales to Queen's surgeon to Arthur Conan Doyle and C.S. Lewis. Practically everybody who was alive in that time has been a suspect. You know, if they could have possibly have been there, it was them. Which I think is rather amusing, even when there's no evidence to suggest that. Of course, that's that's the problem. It's the the evidence is lacking for a lot of these cases. So there we go. But you know, it's just the way it is. It's just it's a lot of purple on this one. I like purple. Don't use it enough. So I thought we'd use it on this one today. You've been colouring anything exciting? I mean, I've done... I've, I'm starting now. Other than starting this new one, I'm trying to finish off as many whips as I can before the end of the month. I've got quite a few whips on the go. And I'm slowly working through them, trying to finish them off. There's a couple that I know I'm not going to finish that are really big projects like Kirby Rosanis and there's one from the Cohen Heaven Colin Thompson book I know I'm not going to finish this month 
um, but I will still work on it but I'm trying to finish off I've got a couple of patterns I think I've got three patterns that need to be finished I've got a Christmas one that needs to be finished obviously now this one but I did finish off two last night which was good but yeah Quite like them. Oh, I'll use this one. I think. What colour's this? This is yes, wisteria. That's a nice colour too. We'll use that on the bows and the trim down here. She's not a very nice girl, this one. <laughs> but. It's just a nice way to colour and uh, just putting some markers down. I know some people put pencil over the top, but it's something I need to try one day, but I just haven't got the patience to, once I've coloured on it once, I don't really want to keep colouring it. I'm just about getting there with layering and on and shading on um, pencils. That, colour this in like this and then have to go back over with pencils it seems a bit ugh really do I have to but that's just me I know a lot of people do do it and fair play to them all you know I need to catch up on my videos as well so I have, I'm very behind that's the problem I do get behind there we are I'm a bit sniffly tonight um, it's hay fever I think it's that time of year and then with the um, weather the way it is, it's all up and down. Hopefully it's going to be a bit better soon. Let's have a red for the apple. Just find a nice red for an apple. I think we'll use this red. Just red. I mine just red. I've got wine red, tomato red, it's just red. Now I do know that there's two colours on this and I think that's because it's the poison on the top. So we'll do just the nice red here. It's a lovely colour red. And then we'll use wine red on here to see what this bit is. Is that her hair? Is it in a bun at the back? I think it might be. What I like is though you can't there's no she's got no reflection. They haven't she has they haven't put a reflection in so she looks like she's a vampire. <laughs> Perhaps the wiki queen was a vampire, I don't know. I'm trying to think what colour did the curtains Ruby I think. We'll go with a traditional red. Where's ruby red? There we are. Uh, okay, yeah, ruby. Cherry red's quite a nice colour as well. Gonna be a lot of this because there's a lot of red although we will do um, a different colour for the bow probably do it yellow well, this one won't take long so 
haven't been watching the news the last couple of days. I've been staying off of it. I do look at it on Facebook if it comes up. So I know like Peter Green from Fleetwood Mac died. He was 73. Um, but I'm not really... Because too much news can make you anxious. I tend to watch it in the week before I start work. So I've got an idea of what's going on. But yeah, there's a lot, I, you know... I promise you don't want to watch too much because it can make you feel very very unhappy and anxious because of what's going on and there's so much unrest in the world why can't we just all be nice to each other I mean is it really that difficult is it to treat everybody with a little bit of respect and, and kindness is it really that hard you know I try and be nice to everybody and that, you know, or polite or respectful. And, you know, it's, it's not difficult. Obviously, if somebody's having a go at you, you do tend to, to react back, which is, is natural, that's human. But I just think it's so sad that why do we have to fight? You know, I know that some of it is because people want to rule over other people why can't people just let other people be you know does it matter what you know colour your skin is or what your religion is or whether you're straight or not or gay or trans I mean human is human we're all the same underneath we all we all bleed we all have feelings I do long for a world where we would all be and just that bit nicer to each other just a bit more show a bit more kindness because that would be my ideal but I don't know unfortunately we don't live in an ideal world So yeah, I'm trying to watch a few more movies. I said I've watched Titanic, uh, the 53 version. Obviously, I've seen the 97 version. Um, yeah, basically, there's a channel in the UK called Sony Classic Movies. And they show a lot of old movies. They show newer ones as well from the 80s and 90s as well. Um, mostly, I just tend to look out for the older stuff. So I think the latest one I've recorded is from 66 or something like that. Because I want to watch more old movies. I will watch newer movies. If it's something that I thought looked interesting, I think, oh, I'll record that. That looks good. But I do I love old movies. It's just something about the way they were made. and It's a romantic view of what was a terrible time, in a way. Well, not a terrible time. That's the wrong thing to say. But the, the way that the actors and actresses were treated wasn't brilliant, the studio system wasn't the best, it, you know, they were treated like cattle, but uh, oh my god, the films they made were like the best, the absolute best films, and, you know. I mean, you watch films out um, Wild Wild on the waterfront. I've got all these recorded to watch. And the, even the comedies, like some like It Hot and The Court Jester, they were innocent and I was thinking it wasn't crude. There was nothing crude about it. There may have been a bit of innuendo, but it wasn't vulgar or crude. It was just innocent and fun and, and you know. Today it's all full of sex, swearing and violence and it doesn't appeal to me. I don't, you know, I don't. There's enough of that in the real world. Why do I want to watch it in a film? I want to watch something that makes me happy and something that makes me smile and laugh or cry because it's sad. 
Yeah, no, I don't want to watch people killing each other. I mean, like, some of those films can be quite good, but you know, I don't want to see blood and guts all the time. You need to have a balance. I guess I just belong in a different era. That's the way I was brought up. Well, obviously, my mum was six in 1950. And my dad was ten. So it was their era. So I grew up with the music and the movies of that time, and I've always loved them, and I still do. You know, it's like we do these quizzes and the music quizzes, and it, the 80s I'm all right on because that's when I was a. a so, you know, I was 13 in 1987, so of course I was into the music of the 80s, but and the early 90s, when it got into that really all dancey stuff, not really, some dance stuff, but not a lot. But I I just always liked the the glamour of the the way people dressed and yeah. I mean the way you know it wasn't no no era is ideal and we look at eras through rose coloured glasses and we do. I mean if you look at the fifties it wasn't brilliant for women. They were still tied to the kitchen sink after having the liberation of the war when they were they all went out to work, they were then expected to return to the kitchens and of course that's probably what started the women's movement is partly that they did all this work to support the men who had gone to the front to fight you know the guys fighting and it was good enough for them to do then but as soon as the men come back now you get now you've got to go back to your kitchen well women had had a taste of something they hadn't had before or hadn't had for a long time and they thought no hang on a minute i want a bit of this i, I don't want to be tied to the kitchen sink I want more and there's nothing wrong with wanting more but if you want you know it's like if I would say if, if a woman wants to work there's nothing wrong with that if a woman wants to stay home and look after her family and her husband and they can afford it because it's difficult these days there's nothing wrong with that at all no choice is wrong it's what's right for you as a person I mean I work part-time and I'm happy with that I don't want to go back to working full-time I like my colleagues. I'm, I mean, at the moment, I'm loving working from home. I don't want to go back and work in the office. If they said you could... I mean, some people do want to go back to the office, and I know that. And I think what they'll do is when it's time, especially if they're still social distancing, they'll say, those who want to go back, go back. Those who want to stay home can. And they'll do it like that first. And it'll be, would you prefer to work at home? Would you prefer to go to the office? And they'll... They'll ask you which you prefer and then they'll try and accommodate everybody, I would imagine, as much as they can. This is going to click off in a minute because we've done nearly 30 minutes. So this is just a quick catch up. So I probably won't finish this on camera, I'll probably just finish it off when I'm ready. I just wanted to come on and have a quick chat with you because I miss you guys. Um, Yeah. Waiting for the next colour of heaven one. I don't know who it is, but everybody's pretty excited about it. It does look pretty good. Um, I don't know who it is. I had an idea it was Colin Thompson last time, but I didn't have his book, so I wasn't 100% sure. But as soon as they put the, somebody posted the initials of the person, uh, they put CT and I knew it was him, but I thought it was him anyway. Um, so I'm just going to have to wait and see, hopefully, it's due out I think on the 4th, I think that's the Wednesday, yeah, so I'm, if I'm lucky I'll get it on the Saturday, if I'm unlucky I'll get it on the Monday or Tuesday, and if I'm really unlucky it'll be after, sometimes it does come after the, um, the date, but not very often, so... Yeah, yeah, I like this colour. It's 
about to stop, that's why I've shut up. <laughs> there we go, it went off at 30 minutes and now it's come back on, that's why I wasn't saying anything, because I didn't want to stop, because I get distracted then I forget what I was saying. So yeah, we we'll just have to see what happens when it, it comes time to go back to to the office. So I'm hoping I'll be able to stay at home and work from home. I don't know. It depends. I know that my manager's hoping the same. We'll have to see. I like the way I'm not spending a lot of money on diesel. <laughs> I said, said to Paul, next week when I get paid, I fill the tank up with diesel. And he's like, yeah, all right then. I think well, it makes sense. I get paid. I don't want to run out in the middle of the month and then be struggling to fill it. I fill it because my car insurance starts again next month. I'll um, just fill it up and it'll last a while then. I miss Jennifer when she goes to nursery in September. Starting at a new nursery. There's a new one opening in Risca, where we live, which would be just easier for me if she goes there. Um, she goes in for half seven, so it'll be easier for me. But oh, I'm gonna miss her. But it'd be good for her to be with other kids again. I'm about to start singing and I thought I better not. <laughs> I might scare you all off. I don't want to scare you off. I like you being here. But yeah, you know. We don't know what's going to happen at Christmas this year. We don't know if Chris is coming home. You might not be able to get the time off work. Because obviously the companies had, that he works with had to let a lot of people go because of what's going on. We don't know where they'll be then. Um... He's still working from home as well. But uh, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, I would like him to come because my mum and dad will be on their own otherwise, which I, I don't know what, whether they'd mind because we have Paul's mum up. At least they've got each other. Paul's mum's only got us. And then we, we go down in the evening anyway. We walk down. We take the presents down on Christmas Eve. And then we uh, uh, walk down on Christmas Day. I mean, it just means that I can have a drink with my dinner. Which we have with Paul's mum. I wouldn't be able to do that if we were, if I had to drive. So. Oh dear me. Oh, what should we do next? Um, Let's get a nice yellow. This is a nice yellow. Bumblebee yellow. So we've got some more um, first impressions videos coming your way fairly shortly. Uh, I think the next one is part two of the, yeah, the part two of the Castle Arts watercolours is coming next. So look out for that one on Tuesday night. That's all done. I just got to, I finished it, I filmed it, I've just got to edit it together. Um, yeah, and I'm working on another one now. And of course, new Black Widows have hit um, Amazon US. They're not here in the UK yet, unfortunately. I'm gutted, I can't wait to get them. We always get everything last. Hopefully we should get them another week or two. And I will be ordering them straight away. And I can't wait. Because I like all the other Black Widows so far that I'm hoping that I'm going to like these. I'm sure I will. 
I just can't wait for them to come because it's just, oh, you know, what colour is this? Sunflower yellow. We'll use this on no crown. I don't I'll just pick random colours, I do. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to getting some new colours in the, the set. Um, see what they're like. We'll do a first impressions on them, although I've already done used the um, other colours. Obviously, I've got the other, all the other sets. I will order them, um, unbox them on camera and do a first impressions on what I think of the way they look and their names. I can't, I just can't wait to get them. I cannot wait to see these wonderful pencils. I hope they're wonderful. I'm sure they will be. They look good. Obviously the photograph is not going to be 100% representative of what the colours are like, but they do look, they look a lot more pastel colour, very light which would be nice because the Black Widows are very vibrant which is fantastic because I love bright colours but yeah I'm looking forward to seeing them I know some people have already got them on order and I envy you very much but uh, yeah it is what it is I'm in the UK and I have to wait I am checking Amazon every few days though just to be on the safe side because you just never know when they're going to come in I'm hoping we'll be able to uh, get them as soon as get them on order, and hopefully they'll have enough in stock for me to get mine. It's gonna be nice to see them. So finally Jennifer has stopped binge watching stuff. So whereas before she would always watch all the waffles, all of Andy's dinosaur adventures, she's actually gone back to watching, not always, but some of the time, TV as it's on. So CBeebies we put it on and she'll just sit and watch whatever's on. Every now and again she'll want to watch more than one episode of something. Like this evening she we all saw the episode of In the Night Garden that was on and she wanted to watch more of that. So it was near bedtime and I thought, for the sake of what, one episode, two episodes, that she's gonna get to, to watch now while we're, um, just before we get her ready for bed. Why not? I'm wondering what to do with her eyes. So her eyes are kind of big, aren't they? I think we'll do black pupils and just green. She's going to be green with envy. Because she is. What colour is that? That's very green. Apple green is very green. But hey, it's only a bit of fun, isn't it? Like I said, I'll probably finish this off camera. It's just so that we could have a, a quick chat. Because there's not going to be much left when I clock off tonight. It's only going to be the background and the mirror, really. So there's not going to be a lot left. Right. So I'm just picking random colours now to colour in. The gems, well, the stones on her crown are going to be blue. Because I like, but you can't even see what I'm doing, I do apologise. Like I said, I'm not really with it. The background, as she's in the castle, I'm probably just going to do a very light grey. 
and I'm going to do a light coloured carpet and then we'll do a bronze brownie coloured mirror frame and then a very light grey on the mirror. Oh dear me, let's do that's it, right. Let's get some colours out for her hair. Colours. I'm going to do her a bit, bit of grey hair and a bit of black hair. It's just so that there's a bit of distinction between it. So. Have a little there. We'll do a bit of grey here. It's not it's a very dark grey, so it probably won't really show up much. No, it's not that dark actually. older now. So we've actually been going 40 minutes so all I'm going to do is her hair and we'll leave it there and then I'll finish it off at some point and we'll uh, see it again in the very last video of the month which is the um, completed pages. Not so many this time because I've done a lot of pencil work this month. Not so many patterns. I love the patterns, I've got to be honest, but uh, I haven't done as many because I've been using the pencils a lot more. So, but that's okay, we don't mind, do we? I just enjoy the colour and I just happily colour all day long, I could. I don't think Jennifer and Paul would like it though if I did that, would they? <laughs> I think they might get a bit upset if I spent my entire day colouring and ignored them. But, uh, so, never mind. But I do, I just like, I mean, I like colouring out in the garden. If it's nice, I sit outside in the garden, play with Jennifer. And sometimes she doesn't want me to play with her, so she wants to be on her own. I just let her get on with it. If she wants me, she'll let me know and then I'll stop what I'm doing and I just sit there and colour for a bit or Paul comes out and he plays with her for a bit she likes to come in the shed when I'm sorting out eBay orders I've had a couple this weekend I've got three to pull tomorrow ready for Monday of course tomorrow is Monday for you guys but uh, so yeah I've got a couple more to go out which is fine I'm happy with that keeps me uh, keeps it ticking over like I said I'm only in, in it for a little bit of extra money it's not replacing my main job. I don't think I could ever do it like that. I'd like to. I just, especially at the moment, I can't get to a shop, the charity shops to have a look round. So I have bought a bundle of ten items for nine ninety nine plus shipping. So it's just over a pound each, which is fine. Um, hopefully they'll sell for a few quid each. You know. I don't know what's in there, they're supposed to be all right brands, uh, but I'll have a look when it comes. Sometimes you just got to take a risk and go for it. I've got loads of cameras still to, to list. If the test did them, I can't be arsed with. And usually I just put a battery in just to make sure it fires, it comes on and it fires. I will have to though, because I've got a couple that need listing. And they do sell, the, the cameras do sell. Hopefully now lockdown's lifting, people are getting back out on their own, they'll start selling again. 
because um, people can get out and more and go further. I mean, when we go on holiday, I don't intend to take my big camera with me. I will do everything on my vlogging camera. So I'll, I'll vlog, obviously. Um, I might film a colour and chat on there. I'll take photographs on it. Use it I use it for photographs and everything. It, it, cause it, you can obviously use it for anything. So, yeah, I will be taking my colour and stuff on holiday. In case it rains. It's a way off yet, so I haven't decided what. It'll probably be um, a set of pencils. It probably won't be markers. I might just take I might take um the super tips or the sharpies and a pattern book as well. But I'll probably take a colour in Heaven magazine or something like that. I haven't decided yet. It's a way off yet, I'll decide nearer the time. So it's just in the evening, because we can't go out in the evening when Jennifer's in bed, because we got to look after Jennifer, but I don't necessarily want to go to sleep at the time she goes to bed, and we sit and watch a DVD or TV, but I, I'm thinking I could just watch TV or a DVD or just sit and colour for a bit and we've rebooked the holiday they cancelled this year ready for next year so that's all rebooked mm. can't wait and hopefully by next summer all this will be sorted one way or the other because who knows this this virus could be around for years we just don't know if they find a vaccine great if not, it's going to be a very, very strange world to live in for a while. It really is. So, I'm thinking of colouring in Whimsy Girls Through the Decade next. Would you like that? I know that John, the Bibblethal colourist, has been colouring it, so I'll try not to do the same picture he did. Um, but I really want to colour in that book soon. I've got, mind you, I want to colour in all the books, I'm not going to lie. So... Do you know what, I think we're nearly at 50 minutes. So I'm going to call it a day there, I'm tired and I'm, I'm just going to finish this off off camera. So let me just show you what we did colour. I really like this book, it's really sweet, it's nice for just markers. And that's what we've done. So all I'm going to be doing now is finishing off the rest of it, which is finishing off her hair, I'll do that tonight. And then a grey background, I'm not sure what colour there is, a light colour I think. And then the mirror, and that's it. I want to the pupils of her eyes, which I'll just do now. Like this, look. There you go. I think that makes it look quite evil, actually. Ooh, she doesn't look very nice, does she? <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this little colour and chat. Um, I've enjoyed talking to you again, so. I'll see you very very soon don't forget to give this a thumbs up guys and leave me some comments on down below if you want me to colour in whimsy girls I'll see you soon bye now